house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to have all of you like every Wednesday here in my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful sweater, this beautiful blouse, how can we call it? It is so beautiful with these beautiful sleeves and it creates an amazing shape of you on you. I think that you will love it and you will look amazing. Well, first I will give you the material list and then the step by step if you are new in my channel thank you so much for subscribing and i will be very happy at if at the end you leave me a comment and you give me a like and of course if you love it you can share it okay remember that i am uh, receiving all of your suggestions and all your ideas to the email techamigas at gmail.com this was an idea from yours thank you so much for sharing this beautiful project I love it and I thought that it was easy and it was super fast and it was and you know that that's the kind of breaks that I love to do well I make it with so much love and thinking about you well let's do lose more time and let's start right away well for this sweater we are going to need 200 grams of angorita is a fine material and a pair of needles of number 8 and a pair of needles of number 10. Remember that if you want to use the same materials that I use in all my videos, here I will leave all the information. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Well, to make this sweater, we are going to use two threads of angora wool. We are going to take the thread from the top, not from inside, okay? It, because it will be difficult and also because it will, we have to match the colors to start with the same colors. And when we are knitting, we uh, continue matching the colors, okay? So that's the secret of this beautiful um, sweater, okay? So in this case, I'm going to match this greenish um, brown color with the other skein of yarn okay so that's why I'm going to take this uh, part of the yarn and I'm going to match it until you have both uh, threads um, with the brown okay or with the color that you uh, decide to start well once you match the colors that you want we are going to start casting on the stitches for this small size I'm going to cast on 50 stitches to see how many stitches you have to cast on exactly, I suggest that you first make a little piece with your yarn and with your needles that you are going to use. You cast on 20 stitches and you need a piece of rib knitted and the stitch so you can see how many uh, parts of 20 you have to make, okay, for, the, for your size and according to the person that you are going to need to, okay. So that's all. This is how you are going to know how many stitches you have to cast on. In this case, I'm going to make a small size, so I'm going to cast on 50 stitches. But I suggest that you always make this technique with all the projects that you are going to make, and sometimes you have doubts of how many stitches you have to cast on. So this is a good example and a good idea how you can know how many stitches you are going to cast on. Well, I'm going to use the needles of number 8 to make um, this piece. I'm going to cast on 50. And well, if you are new in my channel, this is the way I cast on the stitches. If you know a different way to cast on the stitches, well, you can make it. But I suggest this way because with this you are going to uh, have less material left. Well, I finished to cast on the 50 stitches and I'm going to knit the first for the second one. Knit, then pour. And like this, we are going to continue until we finish the 50 stitches. Well, I get ahead a little bit because I wanted to show you how the stitch looks okay and it goes like this remember where we knit we are going to knit and when we pour when we have this 
thread in front, it means that we are going to pour. Then here we are going to knit and then pour. And like this, we are going to continue until we have 20 rows. We are going to count them like this with these little holes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Well, let's continue until we have 20 and this is called the uh, rib knitted. Well, this is it. This is how it looks, 20 rows. Beautiful, right? Well, now we are going to continue with the needles of number 10. We are going to change the stitch and we are going to increase some stitches to make this sweater a little bit puffy in the bottom, okay? Well, this is the series that we are going to follow. So, take the first stitch, grab your yarn, knit two together, and pour one. And again, grab your yarn, and here is where we are going to increase this thing. Instead of taking two, we are going to knit one, and then pour, grab your yarn, and here we are going to take two together. So once we are going to take one, and the next one we are going to take two. And like this, we are going to continue once one, and then once two, to increase the stitches. Okay, so here two, one, two, and then one. So, pour one, take your yarn, knit one, and pour one. Then in the next one, we are going to take two, okay? And like this, the whole row, okay? So, let's continue and see you when I finish this row. Well, here I'm finishing the row. I'm going to pour the last one. Well, I already count the stitches and I have 59. So, that means that we increase... 9, remember that we cast on for, uh, first 50. Now turn around and now we are going to change needles. And now from now on, we are going to continue with the needles of number 10, okay? To have a little loose uh, stitch. And I'm going to continue. Now in this row, we are not going to increase, okay? We are going to knit two together. And it will be the same in all the stitches, okay? Now four. Now, grab your yarn, knit two together, and pour one. Oh, and like this, we are going to continue in making all the rows, okay? Until we have the length and length <laughs> that we need, okay? And now from here, we are going to continue with the needles of number 10, okay? Well, I already get ahead and I follow the same instructions making this and look how beautiful, I love the colors and the little sparkles on it and this is how it looks, look at this stitch, I love these little pleats, it looks amazing, right? Well, I follow the same instructions, so I just start with 50 stitches, then I increase and when I increase in the first row I have 59 stitches and look at the wrong side, well and we continue making rows with the 59 stitches okay well i'm going to measure it to teach you how many centimeters i need and the uh, rib needed is going to be under your breast so take that into account so from here to here it was 24 25 centimeters and after rib needed um 12 13 centimeters, more or less. We also, let's continue making the other part. And from here, we are going to continue under the breast, under, under our shoulders. Okay, so see you there. Well, I already measured it and I already counted rows and I have the exactly same rows than the other piece. Okay, well, now I'm going to cast on. I'm going to, I'm uh, sorry, I'm going to pin off. And I'm going to try to pin it up loose, okay, like here. With the needles of number 10, remember that we are continue using these same needles. So this is the way that we are going to pin it up. If you are learning how to knit, well, this is the way we are going to take two, knit one, and come back with one. And like this, until we finish with all the stitches, okay, remember to make them loose. Well, 
I'm going to finish and then I'm going to sew the um, shoulders with the same uh, threads and then we are going to make the sleeves. So see you there. Look, I joined this shoulder. I joined one, two, three, four, five pleats and this is how the shoulder looks and in the other side, in the other shoulder, I'm going to join the same number, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and you have to check how many space you leave for the color, for our head. And well, also, if you want to join more stitches or less stitches, well, it's up to you, you should try on first, okay? Well, then, to join in the side, we are going to uh, put a marker and we are going to open it like this. We are going to put these threads and we are going to uh, cast on the stitches to make this slip before we join with the needles of number eight. Well, this is how we are going to cast on. We are going to take one stitch from here and then one stitch from in the middle of the chain, like this. Then one stitch from here and then one stitch inside the chain. So in one space we are going to take one and then in the next space we are going to take one from inside the chain and one from outside. So here we are going to take one and then in the next one, one here and one inside the chain. And like this until we arrive to the other a part of the rib knitted until we arrive here well so see you there well here it is i already count and from here where is this split 23 and from here to here 23 i'll make this um, example here we cast on 50 stitches so more or less it will look like this our sleeve if we fold it Okay, so it's perfect. And we are going to make the same stitch that we used from the bottom, the rib knitted. And we are going to use the needles of number eight, okay? So remember that from here you can make as many rows as you need. In this case, I'm going to make an slips, uh, short slips, okay? So I'm going to make more or less a, like the half of this, like 10 or 12 rows. Well, I will make it and then I will tell you how many rows I made exactly, okay? We are going to knit one and pour one, knit one and pour one, okay? And we are going to make the same in the other slip. And this little piece will be in the wrong side. Look, here I finished. At the end I made 10 rows and I think it looks good, okay? Remember that you can make more. Well, I'm going to make the same number of rows in the other slips. Now, I'm going to... Mm, and so from here to here, remember that I uh, bind off the same way that you bind, uh, bind off all the stitches with your needles, okay? I try to make them a little bit loose. Well, now I'm going to teach you the way I sew. I use the eye of the needle to not create any damage in our yarn, okay? So I will take one stitch from here and one from the other side from the bottom to the top. And look, here I already joined this part, and with this technique you won't create any pleats. Well, this is a secret. I wanted to have uh, different colors in each sleeve, so I take some threads of the yarn that I was using, so at the end I could have one yellow and one red sleeve. Okay, but it's up to you. I think it looks good because I want to be colory, this uh, project. Well, I try it in my mannequin and I see that the color was a little bit white. Okay, so I'm going to use my hook to reduce a little bit the color, but if you want you can leave it like that. I think that with one shoulder uh, of the shoulder a piece will be amazing, will look good, but you should try it on first. If not, well, you are going to reduce a little bit with this technique with your hook and with the same yarn that we were using. Like I want to reduce a little bit, I'm just going to make this stitch a little bit tight and I'm going to make a single crochet, okay? 
And yet at the end, if you feel that you want to reduce even more, well, you can make a crab stitch route, okay? Well, see you when I finish this route. Well, I here I finished the row, I'm going to cut the thread and first you should try on, if not, well, you can make a crab stitch row to reduce a little bit more, okay? Well, now you are going to hide all of these threads and this is it. Remember that we are not going to iron this uh, garment, okay? Well, let's see how it looks. Well, I love it, I love to make this break with you. It looks amazing, it looks so beautiful and it's so easy and fast, don't you think? I think that it's a very beautiful piece and a very basic piece that you have to have in your closet, okay? Imagine this amazing piece in grayish uh, colors. We have a lot of different um, uh, combinations in our online store, please if you want to visit it and see all the different colors that we have, please visit uh, our website, okay? I was also thinking that maybe in a all dark, uh, in a black color, or imagine in a white color, it will look amazing. Well, please, if you make this project, take a picture and tag me. I love to see you wearing this beautiful project for these coming seasons. And it will be perfect also for a gift. Well, I'm very excited because very soon I will be finished my presentations here in Mexico and then I will be in Europe. Here I will leave all the calendar. Remember that in the last two dates of the calendar in Europe I will be there. I will be in Spain and in France. If you live and if you know someone that lives close from there, well, please tell them that I will be there and I will be very happy to uh, meet and to crochet with all of you, okay? Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. And don't forget, we have a date the next Wednesday. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.